Greetings. My name is Paul, and I am the lead research technician here at the uh, How to Linux Research Labs, and I'm also the administrator of the Papa West Linux Facebook group on Facebook. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to install the Cosmic Desktop Environment on OpenSUSE Tumbleweed Linux. Okay, let's get started. Okay, so here's my OpenSUSE Tumbleweed KDE desktop here. And I'm going to go ahead and install Cosmic on here. Okay. Let me show you my FastFet screen to show that I'm actually in an OpenSUSE Tumbleweed session. And you can read the first line here. And I'm also in a KDE Plasma session here. And then once we're done installing Cosmic, on your login screen there should be a, a panel icon button or uh, some kind of a cogwheel that you can click and this should be a cosmic entry and then you can choose that and log into cosmic okay now there's two ways of installing cosmic on OpenSUSE tumbleweed I'm gonna go ahead and do the method where I'm gonna add a repo manually and then I'm gonna to our source to my sources list and then I'm gonna use zipper to install the the, the cosmic package you can also download an RPM binary directly and use either the, the zipper package manager and or the RPM command and install it that way via the a dot RPM binary package file okay but I'm gonna go ahead and, and add a repo to my sources list now be advised that cosmic desktop environment is an alpha 2 so it's not stable it's still under production and the repo I'm gonna use it's either called factory or next or or uh, next or factory or a combination of the two I'm not sure but just keep in mind that um, it's an experimental repo and I'm not, I'm not sure if it's actually officially uh, sanctioned or created by the open source community so it is experimental so proceed with caution but like I said there's only two ways of installing cosmic on on tumbleweed at this point and these are the two methods okay so I'm gonna stop the video here and when I come back, I'll have keyed in the uh, the URL and the command that we need to to um, add the needed repo to our sources list. So back in a moment. Okay, so I keyed in I keyed in the command and the URL that we're going to need to add to our sources list, so we can go ahead and install the Cosmic package. Like I said, I'm not sure if it's called factory, you know, the name of the repo is factory or next or next or factory or factory net, whatever, but if you want to know what the name of the repo is, it's either factory and or next. So here's the um, here's the endpoint of the, um, the URL, here's the base, and we're going to go ahead and use zipper and the add repo command to pull this in and add it to our sources list. So once you have this keyed in here, Give it the once over, sudo zipper add repo, and here's the repo here. Okay, that looks good there. Once you've given it the once over, go ahead and enter on that and let's see what happens. Okay, I already had it I already had it installed before I started the video. So you can read here in red, uh, repo named. Actually it tells you right here what the name of the repo is that you're gonna be adding to your sources list. It's called X11 Cosmic Next, okay and it already exists please use another alias okay that's fine it's already installed so since I already had it I'm getting this message if you're doing it from scratch for the first time then you'll see something else saying that you've that you've installed it okay so either way this is the this is a valid a valid command here a valid command and a repo here okay so once we got that installed to our sources list we need to go ahead and make sure zipper can see it at this point zipper doesn't know it exists so we're gonna go ahead and have to uh, refresh zipper so that it becomes aware of it so it can pull from it right okay so the command to do that would be sudo zipper and we're gonna go ahead and refresh that once we do the refresh then zipper will become aware that there's a new uh, repo that it can pull from okay so sudo zipper refresh let's see what it does here Okay, it's going through the process here of refreshing itself. And then once it's done, we'll give it the once over. 
and we'll look for that. Um, we'll look for that. Uh, what was it that was called? Yeah, X11 next here. Okay. So it might take a few moments here. Maybe I should pause the video or let's look. Okay, that was the, okay. Okay, let's give it the, um, the once over here and see if there's anything here that relates to what we just um, X11 utilities. Actually, you see right here, Cosmic, Cosmic, OpenSUSE Factory. Okay, so you can look at this um, output later, but it looks like Zipper was refreshed to the point where it's aware of this this repo, and it can pull from, from there whatever we want. I, th I think only Cosmic might be in there. I'm not sure. Anyway, that's all I'm going to pull from it from right now would be the Cosmic package. Okay, so that's good. So it looks like Zipper has been refreshed to the point where it's aware of that, that new repo, and we can go ahead and use Zipper to install the Cosmic package. So we're going to key in the command for that. sudo zipper install. And this this name of the package here. Let's see if um, if I hit the tab key if I'm going to get an autocomplete. Okay, that completed the N. If I do a, a dash there, Cosmic Okay, it doesn't look like it's going to be auto-completing the rest of it. Okay, that's fine. I'll key it in manually. Pattern, or actually patterns, here, dash cosmic, dash cosmic again. Okay, so this is the name of the package here. Patterns, dash cosmic, dash cosmic. Okay, once that's all keyed in and you give it the ones over here, sudo zipper install patterns, dash cosmic dash cosmic okay once that's that looks good enter on that and then let's see what happens here zipper is going to install the cosmic package okay good I'm not I'm um, let's see if it's just recommended I'm not going to go ahead and do it unless it's going to do it for me automatically otherwise I'm just gonna I'm not going to go out of my way right now to install the recommended packages okay so we're going to get 60 new packages here and you could read over these packages by yourself here and we're going to get two, uh, two new patterns. Cosmic, Cosmic Base. Okay, that, that looks pretty good there. 60 new packages to install. 177 megabytes, not very much. Okay, good. Do I want to continue? Yes. Key in the Y there. Enter on that. And let Zipper download and install the Cosmic package and its um, dependencies and whatnot. Some of these are core, some might be dependencies and whatnot, but hopefully we'll get everything we need here to um, log into a, a decent cosmic session. As good as it can be, assuming that, uh, you know, realizing that it's still in alpha 2. Okay, we've got 60 packages we're going to download here. So I might go ahead and, and um, pause it here and come back when it's done. Okay. I just got done downloading 60 packages and they were all installed by Zipper. So yeah, we just got done installing, um, downloading and installing uh, 60 packages by Zipper and everything looked pretty good there. So I'm going to stop the video here and then I'm going to make an another one after I do a reboot on my end and uh, try to log my first time doing this on, on OpenSUSE Tumbleweed. So I'm not sure what to expect myself. I mean, I'm, 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 there's a certain something I'm, I'm trying to that I that I'm expecting to have happen when I actually do a reboot and get on the login screen. Um, I'm going to click on some stuff and see what what you know what's available. I'm looking for a cog wheel or a panel icon or something like that. I can click on something and get a cosmic menu, uh, a cosmic uh, item in in a list of desktops to to uh, to boot into. So I'm going to go ahead and stop it here. Try that, and then when I'm in a cosmic session. I can make a new video actually showing that I'm actually in a cosmic desktop environment, okay? So I'm going to stop it here, and I'm going to go ahead and do that. So yeah, that was how to install the, uh, the needed repo on OpenSUSE Tumbleweed to uh, install, to uh, download and install the cosmic package on, on OpenSUSE Tumbleweed, okay? And like I said, we haven't really verified it yet, but I'm going to verify it in my next video. Okay, so at this point, I would like to ask you to like, comment, and subscribe on the video. And until my next video, I'm Paul, and I am the uh, 
administrator of the Papa West Lynx Facebook group, and I'm also on Facebook. Please join. Yeah, we talk about different things, not just pop. So if you're running OpenSUSE, you can still join and uh, you know talk to like-minded Linux uh, users like yourself. And yeah, I'm also the administrator of the uh, How to Linux Research Labs. And until my next video, thanks for watching. Bye bye.